thing dropped yesterday called WebR allows you to run R right within a browser. And within um, a few hours, somebody posted a repo demoing how to set up Quarto to use this. So um, I'm going to show you how I forked that and got that to run. So here's my fork. You can see right here, I forked it from that. So I just forked that. And then I made, um, so this was the original file. And I made some edits, which I'm going to describe in a moment. And let me show you first, demo this, what it looks like. So this, um, I rendered that Quarto file, which I'll show you. And it creates this HTML. And then within this, what's different? It's got your R code as usual, but now you can run that this R code. It's actually running it. So, you know, if I put, you know, I can change this to uh, run that. And you see it changed it. Yeah, it's actually running the R code. Uh, 2 plus 2 plus 10. There we go. Yep, just running it. Okay. So you can run all that. So you can make your Quarto uh, nice and interactive for people. Uh, you can have plots in there. Now, what about things um, like ggplot2? So um, a lot of packages are not installed. Um, right, like automatically. So ggplot is one of those, has a lot of dependencies. So, um, so that the web page you know starts up fast some things you have to install so ggplot's one of them and so if you run this code you have to wait a long time i think it took like a minute so just be patient but once it's installed then you can run code like this so here so just ran that all right so that's the demo let's go back and to the repo and let me show you what you need to do to get it going for you. So first off, what you're gonna do is you're gonna fork the repo. You can do mine and use one of my demo files or you can uh, fork the original one. Okay, and then you're gonna turn on GitHub pages for that repo. Then you are gonna go to your base github.io repo. So I am here in Arverse Tutorials GitHub org. So I'm going to go to this repo. This is that special repo for your, your sort of, it's either your private account or your, uh, here I'm in a GitHub org. It's the web page for that. So you're going to go there and you're going to copy in these two files. Okay. So those are, those are the ones you want are here. They're shown right here. So you just copy that and that's it. Let, let the uh, page build can always watch your builds by looking at actions, you know, seeing that it actually built. Just watch that. And once it's built, then you can do go here and it'll be live. And you'll see it says run code. You can just run it. Okay. Hope that was helpful.